If you or someone you know suffers from severe emphysema or COPD, there's a brand new procedure that can be done. Uh, it's not surgery, it's, it's, well, it's not invasive. I mean, it's very easily done. And it's only done here at Ocean Springs Hospital of Senior Urban Health System. Dr. Bobber, pulmonologist here, is the only one on the coast that does the surgery. How are you? It's good to see you again. Good to see you, James. Um, tell us about this, this new system, uh, this new procedure that you do. I mean, um, for those who don't want to no longer use medication or, or have surgery done, uh, it's, it's a little bitty thing. Yeah. So, uh, you know, certain patients with COPD have the emphysema. Uh, variant where there is a lot of inflation in the lungs. There's so much inflation they can't deflate. And the problem for these patients is that in spite of all the medications we can give them, and we put them on inhalers, uh, some tablets, um, we, still, we still can't improve their breathing. Um, so uh, a number of years ago, they first came up with this surgery where they would go in and actually cut out parts of the lung that were just super inflated. The problem with that surgery was that it has a lot of morbidity. People uh, suffer a lot of problems right after surgery. And so along came this device, which is put in through a camera, a bronchoscope, where we, we go in and we put these valves into the lung and cause that, plot, uh, that part of the lung to deflate. So it's like a one-way valve. Mm -hmm. And it helps their breathing significantly. Now, um, I mean, it increases your lung function much better lung function. Um, it improves your exercise capacity because right. a lot of people, you know, they, they might try to just walk around, you know, just walking through the house, they get winded. Yes. They're doing things like that, or doing simple housework. Right. They get, they get winded and they have to sit down a lot. And I mean, it's, it's not a good way of life. The thing to understand, uh, Jim, is that what happens in these patients is that because of these emphysematous lungs, um, you know, parts of the lungs are like big balloons that have overinflated and they won't let the rest of the lungs work. Mm -hmm. You know, they just don't deflate the way they should. And because of that, when these patients do the minimum, the, the smallest bit of exercise, they start air trapping and their lungs start swelling up and, and they can't exhale out that air. So it becomes very difficult for them. And that is what the purpose of this device is. It mm -hmm. goes in and causes those abnormal parts of the lung to deflate um, and let the better parts of the lung work. Now, what do, how does someone know if they are a candidate for the Zephyr? So, um, you know, if, if you have a, a diagnosis of COPD and you have significant uh, shortness of breath with minimal exertion, um, then you, sh you could be considered a candidate. Now, I have to uh, point out that before we actually put the valves, it takes us about... Um, a, a couple of months to actually work up these patients and make sure that they are the appropriate patients for it. Mm -hmm. Not everybody qualifies, and um, the bigger part of this whole process is to make sure that the, the right candidate gets it. Now, um, are, are there those, those that are, are not, I mean, you said if the right candidate, are there those that are not the right candidate? I mean, like somebody that smokes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're absolutely, you have to meet uh, certain criteria and one of these criteria is that you've had to quit smoking for at least four months before you can be considered for these valves. Mm -hmm. um, but then there are other things that we look at. Um, you know, you have to have the right kind of emphysema on the CT scan. You have to have um, fissures that are intact. Um, we have to rule out other diseases that might be affecting you before we actually go and put the valves in. Well, talk about the procedure, if you would. You've got uh, on the screen here the, a patient that, uh, that yeah. had um, emphysema. Yes. And, yes. Uh, and, and you showed it to us in the lungs, and you went in and corrected it with the Zephyr valve. Yes. So one of our um, early patients that we did this on, and uh, if you would look at this CT scan, you can actually see these dark areas. And these dark areas um, are the emphysema that exists in this patient's lung. And um, <clears throat> what we did was we found that the right upper lobe was really more diseased than the rest of her lungs. And we went in and put the valves in the, in the lobe and caused this lobe to deflate so that the lower part of the lung, which was normal, uh, would work for her. Um, for, for this patient, uh, you know, she had a remarkable improvement in her exercise capacity. Mm -hmm. um, she... she actually stopped needing oxygen. 
So really, she yeah. was on oxygen. She was. She, she required oxygen. Uh, her oxygen level went down to 83 percent. Um, you know, and we want to keep it above 90 percent right. if we can. And after these, uh, her oxygen level didn't fall below 90 percent. So she had a, a, a remarkable improvement. I, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't promise that the oxygen uh, happens with everybody, but the improvement in function uh, and being able to walk longer, all of that does happen. And it, it, uh, what exactly, I mean, how long does the procedure take? The procedure itself is about an hour. It's not a complicated procedure. Honestly, the easiest thing about the whole process is the procedure itself. Mm -hmm. It's the part before the procedure where we have to make sure that the patient is right. And then after the procedure where we have to watch the patient in the hospital for about three to five days because there are certain risks associated with the procedure and we have to monitor the patients for the procedure. Uh, the procedure itself is not a big deal. It, it, it's an hour. The patient is, is asleep when we do it. We go into their lungs with the bronchoscope, which is like a camera, and we put these valves in. So it's not really an invasive sur type surgery at all? No, no, it's not. I mean, not you don't have to go cutting them open or anything like that. No cutting involved here. No, absolutely not. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> so um, if someone wants to find out more about this, of course, you, you can go to the website, Senior River Health System website. Um, and do they need to go to their general practitioner to get a, uh, a referral? Yes. Um, they don't, don't even have to go to the generals, um, their general practitioner. They can... Uh, even actually go to the website and make a call themselves, but they can talk to their pulmonologist um, and um, their general practitioner. Um, a, a lot of patients actually look this up themselves and contact us our, themselves. We've had people from Louisiana call us, from Alabama call us, so um, it's, it's, there's just growing awareness and there are many different ways of getting into our clinic. And I, under, I, can, I can understand that. I mean, you are the only pulmonologist here on the Gulf Coast that is doing this procedure. Yeah, I'm the only one who's using this particular valve um, uh, for this. Um, and this is this is the valve if you wanna wow. show it. This is what goes into the patient. Looks like a little tiny spring. Right. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, well again, if you want some information, um, the number's on your screen. Call and set up an appointment or, or a consultation yeah. and then find out, and because you do need to find out if you're a good candidate. That's for uh, having this done because, absolutely. again, not everybody is. Not everybody is. So, and, and there, there are some, you know, lists and guidelines that they can, they can send to you to actually, uh, you know, if, uh, to see if you are definitely a candidate for yeah. getting this wonderful new system in. Dr. Bobber, as always, a pleasure to see you. Likewise, Jim. Thank Take you care. so much. If you'd like some more information about this, this wonderful unit, if you suffer from emphysema or COPD and you want some relief, give them a call here. Set up an appointment with Senior River Health System.